You unlock this door with the key of freedom. Beyond it is another dimension. The freedom of the religion. The freedom of speech. The freedom of the press. You're moving into a land where people are free to assemble and petition the government for a redress of grievances. You are moving into a land of both rights and responsibilities, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the First Amendment Zone. An average rural school in the middle of nowhere, right? Wrong. A perplexing place, and certainly not a typical American school. Little did Tim realize that he would slip into the First Amendment Zone. Wow. I'm glad to see that we can stay awake for school today. What? Where am I? You're in advisory at Federal Hawking. Attention, all student council and trustee members. Tomorrow there'll be a meeting in Mrs. Collins' room. Also, a note to seniors that senior portfolios are due next Friday. Now it's time for the Federal Hawking News Network's weekly broadcast. And I'm Brandon, and this is the FHNN News. The latest news is a recent breakthrough in the school board meetings. The school board and the First Amendment Committee have recently approved two student liaisons to be members of the Federal Hawking High School Board. If you are a junior or senior and interested in this two-year position, contact Student Council for an application. How are they allowed to do that? Students have a lot to say about what happens around here. Don't you pay attention? Well, I have to agree with this editorial. The school lunch does suck. Yeah, I hear that there is a petition going around to make changes in the menu and give us more choices. You can't say that something sucks in the school newspaper. Uh, yeah, we can. We have a free press. But doesn't the principal or someone have to approve that stuff first? I can't believe you'd let anybody say that. Our principal doesn't even edit our newspaper. I know for a fact that he doesn't even read it until it comes out. I don't believe it. It's, it's not April Fool's Day, is it? You'll never be on any committees with an attitude like that. Are those real chains, aren't they considered weapons? It's no big deal. Just freedom of expression. Are you stereotyping us? Uh, no, no, uh, uh I'm sorry. <laughs> So when did you become interested in teaching English? Um, it was about three years ago when I learned about the CARE program, which is a part of Do you need some help? What are you doing? We're interviewing teachers for next year's English position. Do students run this school? Well, we do have students on the site-based committee, and soon students will serve as liaisons on the school board. Is it possible that Tim and other students from other typical schools are so deprived of their First Amendment rights? They simply go berserk when exposed to the real world. This can only happen in the First Amendment Zone. <gasps> Whew, it's all just a dream. 